I'm here in Kampala, Uganda, and I wanted to get an interview or have some time and speak with someone who's from here. So, um, if you want to, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rafi Nyazi from Kampala, Uganda, and I'm here with my friend Mauli from the USA. Yeah, all right. So, uh, I'm just curious, um, can you tell me about like some typical food that Ugandan people eat? Mostly here in Kampala, we do eat matoke. It's commonest food in the whole city. Okay, can you tell me what is matoke? Matoke is plantain. Plantains, okay. Yeah. I like plantains. Oh, that's really nice. So do you fry plantains or do you, uh, do you put salt on them or how do you eat them? Uh, we cook them. You cook them in a pot? Yeah. Okay, is it boiled? Yeah, it's boiled. Okay. And maybe you can mix it with sauce after. Oh, okay. Ready. Like a sweet sauce or like a spicy sauce? Which spicy. kind? Spicy. Spicy, okay. Yes. So y'all put chilies on it? Yeah, you can put chili. Okay. Yeah. Is that how you like it? Me, I, I'm not a really a fan of my chocolate. Oh, okay. It's not your favorite thing, but yeah, it's like... Do, yeah, but I do eat it. Okay. It's not my favorite. Cool. And what else do you eat? Do you, uh, do you eat like lamb or goat or anything like that here? Um, we do. Yeah? Yeah. So how do you make it? Do you, uh, do you put it in a stew or do you like uh, grill it, like roast it? Or yeah, we do. We both do. ways? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what's something you, else you can tell us about uh, Uganda? Uganda is actually a place, a free place. There is stability, there is peace. And then I think everyone around is social. Yes, friendly. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that already. I haven't been here long, but mm. I've noticed that uh, Ugandan people, they're really friendly, um, you know, very, uh, you know, respectful. Um, you know, they just make you feel like at home when you come and visit the country. So uh, I would recommend anybody who wants to come here, you know, don't, don't think about it. Just go ahead and do it. Uh, get the tickets, get on that plane. Uh, you won't regret it. Yeah, Uganda no. is actually a nice place. It's a home away from home. Yeah. And so uh, you were telling me you wanna you wanna be a soccer player. You you've been playing soccer for some time, right? Yeah, I've been playing soccer a lot of time ever since I was young. So I've been playing for some good clubs. And uh, at the time I went out to Uganda, I was in the neighboring country, Tanzania. Okay, cool, yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. So it's my favorite. Yeah. So you had a good experience playing there? Yeah, it was really nice. We were there for about a week. Okay. So we had a tournament from there. And then I just felt really nice. How did the tournament go? Did you? Yeah, we won. Actually. You won the tournament. Oh, yeah, we won, awesome! Yeah, that's that's good stuff, man. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Um, so, how about the nightlife here? Where do you usually go out if you want to party, get a drink, something like that? Yeah, Kampala. I think it's best for going out, having fun around, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of places, fun places to go out in Kampala. Okay. Yeah. And what's the popular drink that people uh, drink here? here? People mostly drink uh, Nile. Nile, okay. Yeah. How do you yeah. spell that? N-I-L-E. Ah, like the river, yeah, the, the Nile. The river, yeah. Okay, it's the same name. Mm. And what is that? What is Nile? Can you tell me about it's it? It's a beer. It's a beer, yeah, okay. Yeah, local beer. All right. Yeah, brewed in Uganda. And that's the most popular one here? Yeah, yeah it is, I think. Okay. Mm. Cool. And then the second, I think, is Bell. Spelt like B E L L. A bell, okay. B E L L. Yeah. Okay. I think they favorite too. Okay. Uh, so I was I was gonna ask you, uh, have you ever met any uh, like Black Americans? Uh, black Americans, not really. I've met some Blacks, but not from America. So I'm the first one you yeah, met, huh? Uh, you're the first one I've met. Ah, okay, interesting, yeah. man. I think you're the first. Uh, well, not the first Ugandan I met, but the first one I, you know, sat down and had a long conversation with like this. So um, I know a lot of people, you know, they want to know, uh, you know, do Ugandan people know anything about black Americans or do they have any idea? Because I know, you know, you get images from television, of course, and videos and stuff like that. So uh, do you have anything you can say? About black Americans? Yeah. Or uh, the first thing I like about black Americans is like their accent. They is quite different from the whites. Huh? And then uh, uh, mostly the blacks I watch on TV. Uh, they like a lot of basketball. Yes. And then they popular in music. Yeah. Talk of the Chris Browns, talk of the Drake, talk of uh, Lil Wayne, talk of Nicki Minaj. A lot. Yeah. Then, yeah. All those people, they're famous in Uganda yeah, too, right? Very famous here. Okay. Yeah, they 
the Kevin Durant, yeah, LeBron. Uh -huh. So you, you follow these guys on TV, you see yeah, them I as well? Yeah, I follow them, I watch them maybe, and then on social media as well. Okay. I do follow. Cool. Yeah. I was curious about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're we're just sitting down. We're uh, getting some local beer here. So this one that we're gonna try. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm sure uh, he's had it before. Yeah. It's called uh, Tusker. It's Tusker. Yeah. It's Can we see the see the label? Yeah. So it's called Tusker, and it's uh, it's got an elephant. Makes sense, right? And he's got his tusks. Um, so this is this one you see everywhere in Uganda. You see like uh, signs and billboards that say Tusker. So I'm curious to to see what it tastes like. And this is, uh, it's 4.2% alcohol, so right. not that strong. Yeah, it's all really yeah. strong. I think I can drink one of these and I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Be you can hop on the boda yeah. <laughs> and, still, <laughs> and still drive and not crash yeah, if you, you have one. Yeah. If you have one of these. You'll be able to drive and reach home safe. Yeah, so, so uh, a boda, if you don't know, is uh, what they call the motorcycle. Mm. So the boda is a motorcycle taxi. Yeah. And, uh, well, you can, you can explain. You I can tell them. Bodas here are common almost on every street of Kampala. And the fastest, but just only relatively more expensive according to the public transport here in Kampala. So when you sit on the ride, it's fastest. It will take you anywhere you want to go around town or maybe on the outskirts of Kampala. Yes. You'll be able to get there as fast as possible. Yeah, because, yeah. because sometimes, uh, like you were saying today earlier, um, when there's a lot of traffic because yeah. the the motorcycle taxis or the boaters mm. uh, it's a motorcycle so they can get around the traffic jams that you know a big van or a bus or something like that can't so they can find a way so they can the take the back roads way, yeah. yeah and they're faster so, so when traffic the place is slow the road is slow then a boater I think faster I recommend yeah. it okay yeah.